outside uh, Merseyside Police's headquarters here in Liverpool and uh, just want to talk regarding uh, incidents that were reported to Merseyside Police but obviously uh, not recorded. Well, they were recorded, but when we asked for the Freedom of Information request from Merseyside Police, asking um, how many complaints have come into Merseyside Police regarding Kingdom listed enforcement in the Merseyside area, and we're talking about the three month period, which is April, May, and June of this year, where one serious incident happened at an Aldi car park where um, a couple, uh, the, the male, actually took bad at the scene. I won't go into the uh, story of what happened because obviously it's posted here anyway, so you can all be checking it's already online here. But what actually happened is the, the Kingdom Bandit that was actually involved with um, this incident actually was impersonating a police officer and subsequently after a month or so he was actually sacked now we're talking about april may and june of this year now i've got the freedom of information requests here from them three monthly periods and we had another incident which wasn't that serious but it was regarding me where i had a fo an abusive phone call regarding my mother now i believed it was for it was a sexual phone call uh, sexual uh, things were said which was just don't understand how people can say them sorts of things anyway I reported it, I, I actually officially I reported that because I was concerned especially if he was a, 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 a an existing bandit in Liverpool he needs to be reported anyway what happened uh, that was logged there was a crime number given for both incidents that happened in this three month period so a freedom of information request went into Merseyside Police because we are aware that the public do phone up Merseyside Police complaining about Kingdom. We are fully aware of that. I mean, in Wales, there's loads of complaints to the police and I bet there's loads in the Wirral as well. But obviously Liverpool was, was where I were based, so we actually asked for it. After asking for the freedom of information request off the police for the 12 month period, he said it had cost too much money, blah, 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 which he understand that. Uh, the cost limitations and what have you. So we asked for three months, so we went one month, then the second month, then the third month. And the, re and, and the question I asked was how many complaints did Merseyside Police from members of the public on Merseyside have been made against King Kingdom Litter Enforcement? And clearly, you can see the word, none. So we've got three months here, a three month period where Merseyside Police are saying there's been no report of Kingdom complaints. And we've got actually two with crime numbers Obviously, we know there's going to be a lot more, but obviously we've got these two. Now, whether or not it's a clerical error or what, something's going on. Now, I've been waiting now for six weeks. I emailed the Chief Constable, not happy, and wanted to actually appeal this decision of these uh, non-reports of Kingdom to the police. Because I don't believe, well, I know it's not right because I reported one and a victim outside Aldi reported one as well. Both got crime, crime reference numbers with, so... You know, we've got evidence that it was reported. Yeah. Not only that, the Aldi car park was actually investigated by CID, who subsequently informed the victims that there was no charge being made and the Kingdom were going to deal with it internally. Uh, that was after impersonating a police officer, uh, harassment of a disabled person and harassment of the female. So anyway, he got away with it, but he got sacked, so that's good, because he can't do it to anyone else. So fair play, that, that'll do us. But this is concerning regarding uh, these freedom of information requests from Merseyside Police who were saying 100% in black and white how many complaints to Merseyside Police or members from members of the public on Merseyside that have been made against Kingdom Listed Enforcement in Merseyside and the police are saying on a three month period, none. So please make your own mind up. I'm not accusing police officers of wrongs here because police officers take an oath now we all know kingdom there's many former police officers that work at kingdom or are involved with kingdom 
Now, these former police officers, one, the former police officers don't know why, and secondly, they're not, they're not under oath. So really, they can do what they want, okay? So, all I'd like you to do is this week is to look at the videos. I was gonna put the information out in print form, but it's better doing a video because people seem to watch the videos. Take him what I'm saying all this week, okay? So obviously, today is Merseyside Police, you know, freedom of information request in a three month period where we've got two crime reference numbers and Merseyside police are telling us no one complained in them three months about Kingdom. Now, you know, as I know, well, we've got the evidence to say there was two because we've got the crime numbers. But obviously, you know, the way Kingdom work, there's going to be a load of complaints. Um, and whether it's been logged or it's a, a administration error or whatever, but we need to get to the bottom of it. And I'd like Merseyside Police Chief Constable to get his officers to reply to the complaint that I put in regarding this report, which was six weeks ago. So this has been going on for two and a half months, but I've been waiting six weeks for this report to come back. Just asking, why haven't these been reported? Is it clerical problem or what? Okay, so what I'd like you all to do is to watch all the videos this week and the next couple of days we're actually going to go to the council officers because there's a uh, there's uh, Kevin Johnson from Licensing who we'd like to talk about next. Please share and follow this page.